We're here with Donna Dura from Mildred's Temple Kitchen. And we're going to do the fish. We're going to do the fish. Yeah, this is a crazy recipe. Crazy. A crazy recipe. I love it. Uh, maybe we can get Avril in to give us a hand with it. So and the glasses are We need are lots of on. glasses okay. are on and the glass of wine is ready to go. Okay. So we're going to actually take an entire fish and bake it in salt. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's delicious. Trust me. And it's a it's an old, ancient, you know, Irish druid technique. Okay, I'll go with that. I'll go with that one. <laughs> okay, so we have to start by whipping up some egg whites. I'm going to get you to do that, Avril. Okay. Do you mind? And there you go. And we're going to add a little bit of water to that. And we're going to then add tons of salt so it's wet like sand. And we're going to pack the fish is in the wet salt. Is there a particular salt that you'll use? I like use? to use the kosher salt, Tony. I just think it holds the moisture. It also, there's a flavor uh, that's attached to that as well. And that's my preference. That's it, it works best for me. That's beautiful. That's perfect. You can stop now. Good. Why don't you start to add salt to this? Do I add it all at once? No, or? you don't. You're okay. going to take the spatula do you want and to? start. No, you do it. Okay. I want you to do it because I know how to do it. You need to know how to do it now. <laughs> and just start adding it in about a third of it and then fold it into the mixture that you've just whipped up and you're going to start to see this wet sand develop. So we're going to use char today, which is one of my, I love char. I love the fact that it swims up in cold northern Canadian waters. It always amazes me when you go to a restaurant they have a barramundi on the menu. And we all know that the barramundi comes from down under. Mm -hmm. Like, and how could oh. it possibly be fresh? You know? Exactly. I don't quite get that. You know, I think we're being duped a little bit. So I'm just going to pack some of this great stuff in the belly of the beast. And you really don't have to do much more than... Oh, look, they're, they're spit, spitting out on me already. That's all right. How are you doing there, Avril? Okay, add more salt. Can I add more salt? Absolutely. Add You're more salt. That, yeah. Thank you. Does you feel like that wet sand when you go mm -hmm. to the beach? Yeah. Yeah. But I think we're close. This looks good. This looks good. Uh, what we want to do now is create a bed of salt, and then we're going to put the fish on top of that, and we're going to bury it entirely in salt. It's actually pretty thick, so you could push some of this salt out because it doesn't need to be that thick. And just get in there with your hands. And yeah, it just reminds me of your kid and you're yeah, playing in the mud. That's right. This is a great technique. Okay, that looks good. I'll good. pull this out. Very good. Oh, there you go. Tuck some of this stuff back in here. Get some of the goodies yeah, back in. Yeah, get back in there. Yeah. Very nice. Now what you're going to do, Kathleen, is bury this entire fish in <laughs> have salt. a salt burial. A salt burial, exactly. Okay, okay. there you go. Have some fun. Donna Dewar is the executive chef and co-owner of Mildred's Temple Kitchen. This week, Donna's made an arctic char and salt crust with saffron aioli and roasted beet and purple potato salad. How gorgeous is that? Now let's get to the tasting with Tony and Donna. This is our arctic char baked in salt. Looks fabulous. Sounds good? Sounds solid. What do you think? Should we get uh, Kathleen and Avril to crack it open? I have a bit of fun. Do I keep going? Keep going. Look at that. Come down to the tail. A bit harder. That's it. So when we do this dish at the restaurant, we serve it at the communal table. And we make a mess, and it's very rustic, but it looks great. And the people like the mess? People like, I mean, love the mess, yeah. Doesn't that look great? Gorgeous presentation. This is really what we call eating with the eyes. Very good. Bravo. Listen, Donna, fabulous show. Thank you. Excellent dish. I'm going to hurry up to finish here <laughs> so I can still eat that while it's still warm. <laughs> okay, thank you for coming. And uh, we'll see you again thank you. next time when we have another one of uh, Toronto's finest cooking up some fabulous food. See you then. Have a go. Have a go. Have a go. <laughs> <laughs>